What's up guys, welcome to another uh, addition to our Raspberry Pi uh, videos that we're going to be doing. In this video we're going to actually start with programming some different parts of the Raspberry Pi. So uh, this ought to be interesting. What we're going to do in this programming session is we're not going to be touching on a lot of the high level programming for the Raspberry Pi. Instead, since this channel is kind of geared more towards hardware level things, we're going to play with the uh, GPIO that's on board. And for those of you who don't know uh, where it's actually located on the board, uh, basically, if you, I'll put the link to the, in the description to this website. But if you go to uh, elinux.org and then the RPI low-level peripherals, you'll get to see they'll show you the header that's on there, that big header. Um, they'll show you um, what GPIO is where, and uh, also the alternate functions that it has and everything. So they show you where all that is, so that way you'll know. Anyway, um, what we're going to do is we're going to basically create a simple Blink program. We're going to be programming this in C, since this channel is mostly geared towards the C programming language. I think we'll go ahead and stick to it. So we'll be using the GCC compiler, which is a simple compiler that comes with um, all Linux builds that at least I've seen. So um, we'll be using that. Um, however, first we need to download some libraries. So I have gotten into my Raspberry Pi through Putty. Like, and those of you that don't know how to do that, um, you can watch my last video uh, shows how to uh, do that. You know, or a couple videos ago shows you how to set all this up. So anyway, what we're going to do is we're going to um, download some information and. Where there's, I'll put a link in the description to the place that uh, that has this um, that has this uh, this uh, build. Basically, we need the header files and whatnot for um, the mapping for all this. It's going to be the information or the I guess you'd say driver files for the BCM twenty eight thirty five, which is the uh, I think memory chip that is on board, which contains all the GPIO registers and everything. So to download this, what we're going to do is actually I'm just going to go ahead. I have created on my uh, do ls what I've I've created in my desktop or on my desktop. We're going to cd to that right now. I have created a folder called programming. So we'll cd into that and see it's just blank. If I do an ls, it's blank. So what we're going to do now is we're going to do a w get, which is a web get and we are going to get the information uh, or at least the our, the tar file is what we're going to get so I'm going to right click and uh, that basically if you've ever used putty before whatever you highlight uh, and do a control C on like you copy from somewhere to paste it into putty you just right click and it pastes it wherever the cursor is so if we do that we're going to hit enter it's going to download it Looks like it succeeded. If we do an ls now, we now have it. So now we're going to go ahead and extract it. So we're going to use the whoop, tar uh, dash z uh, z x uh, v f, and then we are going to type that in. Enter. Looks like it extracted it. Yes, it did. Down there at the bottom. Uh, down here at the bottom. I may shorten this window up just so that nobody gets lost. So down here at the bottom, uh, we now see that we have that. So we're going to cd into that directory. And there's a bunch of stuff in here. Now first thing we're going to do is we're going to run the configure. And so we do a dot slash configure. It's going to configure all the files and everything, set up GCC and everything for accepting this. Once this gets finished, we're going to run a make. So that way it makes the, the files that we need. So this will take me just a minute. All right, so we got all that make. So now we're going to do a sudo make check. This makes the checking sequence. Test one passed, if you see that, test one passed. So that means that everything more or less got installed in the right place. sudo make install, and we'll make the installer. Now that we're done with that, we should be good to go with creating our first program. So okay, so now we're going to go ahead and I'm going to CD, I'm going to back up, 
back into our programming and show it to you. And I'm going to mkdir, which makes a directory, I'm going to call it blank. Okay? And we're going to cd into blank. Okay? So now I'm in blank. Now I'm going to go ahead and create me a C file. To do that, I'm going to do a sudo nano. I like nano. I like using uh, that uh, text editor. And we're going to call it blink.c. Okay, so now we get in here. Now I have cut and pasted a sample code. Again, I'll put the link uh, to where this place is. Uh, it's from eLinux, uh, same place I showed you before that had the uh, GPIO ports mapped out. Um, uh, it, I'll put a link in the description to that page. This has some sample code in C, I think C++, C Sharp, you know, everything. Of course, we're using C here. So this is a sample Blink program that they have already pre uh, put together. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to cut and paste that into Nano. Um, I'll expand this out. Maybe we can we'll be able to see it. Uh oh, hello. Okay. So essentially, okay, I'm gonna kind of scroll up here. Okay. So essentially, it calls all the stuff. I don't like these green tabs in here. Um, it basically calls everything. So basically, what it's doing. Okay. For one thing, we have to add our include stdio.h. That way, all of our commands come out properly. Alright, now we're going to take and uh, what it does is it basically will um, check and initialize it. You know, and of course it gets any errors. If it doesn't initialize it basically returns one and kicks out of this whole program. But uh, that's the first check. Um, so we're initializing the BCM uh, 2835. Then we go up and we basically set up our registers, essentially set up our tri-state registers. So we have to set it, like it says, set it to output. So we do the uh, GPIO F select. So we do um, pin, and we've defined up here what pin. And the important to remember is this P1. That is the marking on the board. That's for uh, the port one, I guess, or however they want to call it. But that's your uh, header. That's choosing which header, because the Raspberry Pi, at least Model B, has multiple um, uh, headers basically on it. It's got like three three different ones. So you have to make sure and select the correct header. Um, and that's this one. So, and then we're choosing pin 11 of that header. So if you look down through here, um, that's whenever it says pin, that's what we're doing. So basically pin 11, we're setting it as output, F select output. So that sets that pin as an output pin. And then while one, obviously this is our for loop, we are going to then write a high to that pin. Wait for 500. This delay 500 is in milliseconds. So we're going to delay for 500 milliseconds. And then we're going to write a low to it. And then delay for another 500 milliseconds. So therefore, it's going to blink the light uh, every half second, essentially. So that's basically how this little simple program works. We're going to control X. And we'll say Y for yes and enter to write it do an ls now we have it so now it's time to compile it so to compile it we're going to use gcc dash o to create an output file and then we're going to call that blink we're going to be blink dot c is our source file but then we also have to add in where our other one is located it's the bcm 2835 um, is where and that's where we go and grab that h file hit enter Okay, it looks like it compiled with no errors because it didn't give us anything. We should have now blink is green. That tells us that it's an executable. So dot slash is the executable. And blink. And uh, Im image will appear over here momentarily. There we go. And so uh, now we're going to hit dot slash blink. And we'll hit enter. Oh, I forgot. Pseudo dot slash blink. Oh, well, it helps if I can type. And there we go. And now it is now blinking the port, as you can see. And once the uh, once it's done blinking, uh, or uh, once you want to finish or quit, you just Control C it, and that'll break out of that loop and it'll quit. So pretty pretty cool. So that's basically it, folks. That's how you uh, that is how you create uh, a program and talk to the GPIO to talk to the GPIO. So. I hope you enjoyed this little tutorial. Um, more will be to come. We'll play with some more um, peripherals uh, via that main header 
and um, there's ways of connecting LCD screens to this thing, connecting um, ACDs to this, or ACDs, <laughs> A ADCs um, to this thing. I had a question from a user of how to do kind of like our voltmeter thing. A little more difficult with this because it doesn't have any onboard ADCs to to you know do that conversion so you can get a voltage into the system and calculate. But you can hook up an external one, and I may briefly go through that just uh, for that for that uh, uh, viewer that asked me uh, how how that that would be possible with a Raspberry Pi. So we may go through kind of how to do that or how to set that up. I don't have any. Um, external ADC chips on me right now. Um, they're all basically integrated into microcontrollers. This is the ones that I use. So, um, But you can do it with an external one. We may touch on that at some point during this. So, hope you guys enjoyed it. Keep coding. Keep uh, building your devices because as long as you're having fun, that's what it's all about. Alright guys, that should be it for this time. That ought to do it. Talk to you later.